So I'd like to create my own custom effects for these vocals. I want to create a combinator on Send 2. I've already got some vocals being sent there. So the first thing to do is to create a combinator. Let's hold down Shift and drag it over. We're going to hook this up manually. Take Effect Sense 2 and route it to the input of the combinator. Take FX Returns 2 and route it to the output of the combinator. Next, grab a reverb, toss it in there. We can hear it doing its thing right away. Let's add some echo. Yeah, that sounds cool. Notice the routing here. The reverb going into the echo, going into the combinator. Okay, let's continue. Now let's add an alligator for a chopping effect. Have a look at our rack. Take a look at the back. See how that's patched in. Let's rename this Vocal Transformer. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to create a button on the front panel of the combinator to turn the chopping effect on and off. So click on Show Programmer. Click on button 1. Let's rename it Chop. Click on the alligator. Go to button one, go down to master, enabled. Now let's turn on the chop button and see what happens. It's a little tricky. Now look at that. It put it into bypass mode. We actually want the opposite of that. When the button's on, we want it set to on. And when it's off, we want it in bypass mode. So we have to actually switch it around. We want the minimum to be 2 and the max to be 1. Let's try it now. If you come closer, I will run faster. And let's turn it on. And there we go. There's our effect. So that's how you work out that one. Make sure you go back and look at the max min thing and make sure you really understand what happened here. Next thing we'd like to do, I would like to assign the feedback to the echo to Rotary 1. Go with the programmer, under the echo, under Rotary 1, pick feedback. And there we go. Let's crank that up. Not only can you create your own custom effects with the Combinator, but it gives you nice, hands-on control. 